How's it going everybody? This is Neo from Back to Warcraft bringing you the Warcraft Observer number 2 this time from October um, 2nd to October 9th all the updates from the Warcraft, from the professional Warcraft world a lot tons of stuff in this Observer once again we have two major news regarding the European scene then of course we have updates from WCA all around the world we have updates for Rust Brain Cup number 2 and all the results from the weekly tournaments they are Jera Cup, Ifen Cup and the Golden Cup of course plus uh, some random stuff that's going on so after this you will be up to date with everything that's going on here uh, in the beautiful world of Warcraft 3 so let's not waste any more time let's dive into it as I mentioned before October 2nd to October 9th this time and the news of the week Morozov retires the admin from good game are you steps down and in addition to that no more golden cups so the Saturday is free for new tournaments but let's start with a big one um, may sound small to you but it is a big threat to the Warcraft community let me uh, make sure to make that clear to you. Morozov, in case you don't know him, he is the main admin for Warcraft at Good Game, but are you the biggest community site for Russian Warcraft 3? He is the main admin for Jera Cups, for the Golden Cups, for all the other Cups that happen on GG.ru. And he's a streamer as well, with a following of 75,000 followers on his Good Game stream. Uh, uh, streaming a lot of cups at the weekends, restreaming a lot from uh, China and Korea, covering a lot of WCA there. So whenever we are not around, um, you can catch the stuff on his stream. Apparently, I'm not really sure if he's only retiring as an admin or if he's retiring uh, completely from Warcraft 3. He stated that real life forces him to do that. Um, there's still fire inside him, but yeah, real life is sometimes more important uh, than Warcraft, so it's totally understandable um, that he takes this step. It is a big loss, um, as I mentioned before. Not only is he the admin, not only is he a streamer, but he is one of the only guys that uh, brought some new sponsors into the game. Of course, the good game community is huge, and of course there are some rich people in Russia, so he uh, made sure that some money um, went into Warcraft tournaments, for example, the Rust Brain Cup, the biggest one with a prize pool of 650 euros this time, I think uh, 700 euros last time and of course there are several more Deadman Cups um, yeah, there are Cups all over and he finds the sponsors for that, so that's out of the equation now the good thing is, Jera Cup will continue, um, the biggest running weekly uh, cup in uh, Warcraft, in European Warcraft, will continue. Kaiseris is, I think, the new admin, I think Abstract uh, will support him. So, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sad. Uh, Morozov, I'm doing a lot for Warcraft, but he did a hitload of work um, so, um, sacrificing all his weekends for Jera Cups and Golden Cups to host uh, get the players going, get the tournaments going I inviting players to uh, the other th the stuff like Rust Brain Cup so I appreciate his work and I wish him all the best in his uh, future endeavors if I may say so farewell my friend it's been a pleasure working uh, with you for you and casting your tournaments. Morozov, definitely one of the best admins I've ever seen in the Warcraft 3 world, only comparable to Lichy in the WC3L times, if you remember her. But yeah, let's see if someone else steps up. Let's see if it all goes downhill from here, but I hope, uh, and I'm pretty sure that the good game community comes up uh, with a replacement or Kaiseris steps up his game, so we will have um, tons of new and more tournaments uh, from the Russian side of the tour. So second news this week, the Golden Cup actually is dead and Morozov has something to do with that. Uh, we saw uh, the Golden Cup 7 this Saturday, an awesome tournament if I may say so, but it was the final episode until further notice because the Golden Boy, the sponsor of this tournament, had some disagreements with the head admin that was Morozov obviously. I'm not pretty sure on this fact, so it's a lot of speculation here. But uh, there was one game where Golden Boy uh, wanted to observe in-game, not on streams, but in-game. Um, and one player asked if we could play without observers, because they tend to lag, um, that destroys the game, and so on and so on. So Morozov, the good admin as he is, says, okay, 
the wishes of the players come first. It's the number one priori priority to make the players happy. So, Golden Boy, I'm sorry, you have to watch the streams. And he was pretty offended by that and said, okay, if that's the rule, if I don't have any uh, special rights here, then no money anymore for me. And yeah, that's when he said, okay, Golden Cup is dead for now. Um, I personally think it's a good decision. Um, the well-being of the player should always come first uh, before yeah, the guys who give the money. So, uh, big question here. Money equals power. Was it the right decision from Morozov or uh, is it just not a big deal? Let him ops if he sponsors this tournament. We can see it both ways, but I agree with the decision. If you uh, disagree with me, please say that in the comments. Uh, maybe we can discuss this a little. I think it's a very interesting topic if uh, money equals power. So that's the news of the week regarding the scene here. Um, it may seem minor to you, but this could be the start of the downward spiral. Uh, don't want to be too negative about it, but I see it as a big threat, to be honest. So, tournaments, everybody. Some updates from the Rust Brain Cup, WCA Chinese Qualifier, WCA European Qualifier and WCA C Qualifier are about to happen. And of course, we had several weekly tournaments, so let's go through them. Through, through them. Rust Brain Cup number two is happening this Saturday. It is the big competition of Korea versus Europe, um, starting 13 CEST. So right after lunch, it's a, seven, a 650 euro prize money casted by yours truly, Remo and my myself. Um, we have some replacements here. We had to swap out Warchief already and Remind. They were re replaced by Chechi and Yange. This time it's Rudin and Josu out. Rudin has to play a basketball uh, game, of course. He is a player in the Serbian... Um, in the major league of, of Serbian basketball, so it's always hard for him at, at Saturdays, I guess. Uh, Sunday he's free, but the Saturday he has to play a game, and he didn't know about that, so yeah, he's out. Yours is still on vacation, and I haven't heard about any replacements yet. I know they are trying to get Hate Love Anger, but apart from that, I have no idea. Uh, so I think this will result in a new grid, but I have no... Um, knowledge about that. So here's the grid. Law Light versus Cooper, Lucifer versus To Be Determined, Reprisal versus uh, TGV, who has a new nickname by the way, Nagi Bator. Uh, Czech versus Warchief. Warchief is back? Hmm. Or maybe it's Czechy. Maybe it's Czech versus Czechy and the grid is not up to date. This might be the case. Uh, Younger versus Hawk. Email fan versus Sonic, Belief versus To Be Determined, and my number one game of this uh, this cup in the first round it's Focus versus Foggy. So we were we are streaming that. So check out twitch.tv slash Back to Warcraft on Saturdays. It's a double elimination, so expect an entire day of awesome Warcraft action Korea versus Europe. So, WCA qualifiers. We have some updates. We have 16 slots for the grand final in Yinchuan starting December 17th. We have four slots from the Chinese Pro qualifier. They were given to Infi, Fly, TH and Sushishi. We had, of course, the European Pro Qualifier, and you all know that Warchief, Yours, and Hate of Anger took the tickets. And uh, then we have the special invite, which is Moon. We talked about this in the Observer number one. So we have some several, uh, some more um, qualifiers here for the C region. That is, of course, Korea, starting October 14th to October 17th. And we have three more slots. We have three more slots for the Chinese Open Qualifier. I'm going to tell you more about that in uh, the upcoming... Uh, news here and the two slots for the European Open Qualifier which will happen on October 23rd and October 26th to 27th casted by yours truly once again with yours together so the Chinese Open Qualifier it's a bit different um, than it is in Europe. In Europe it's just one big cup where everybody can sign up. In China we have several regions and uh, pre-qualifiers. So the pre-qualifiers already happened and we have from each region four guys who um, have to play a, double, yeah, a single el elimination tournament um, and two players will advance to the final stage of this qualifier. For North it's Fanta, Kulhian, Tara, you know, you can read it. Um, so we only have to determine the players from Yin Xuan. That's going to be a regional qualifier as well, but that's not played yet. So we have the first two qualifier in the North region and the North East region. 
and there Terra and uh, Tew JQY. Let's call him Tew. Advanced. Um, very surprisingly for me that Tew beat Fanta. Fanta, of course, a participant of WCA 2014, well known in the community. Uh, Terra is not a big surprise. He won both play uh, both games pretty convincingly with two to zero. Fanta won the game against Kulhian. Um So yeah. Terra and Tiu qualified for the final stage of the Chinese qualifier in the Northeast Division. No surprises there, I think. Um, Bu, Kenyao, TBCBM, and Backspace were the participants in that one, and Bu and TBCBM advanced there. So we see it here. Um, 16 slots. Yumiko and Sini are already qualified from the Ningxia. Uh, Ningxia qualifier and they are joined by the likes of Terra, T, uh, Tew, TBC and Boo. So uh, the next regional qualifiers will happen throughout the week so expect a big update in the Warcraft Observer number three. C qualifier. Um, not much changed, exactly nothing changed but it's starting next Wednesday October 14th. It is double elimination of course so an email fan remind Lolai check Focus, Lucifer, and Reprisal, the participants in that one. Um, three slots, of course, but I tried to get a hold of the admins um, for a stream. I don't know if there's a Korean stream. I don't know if there's a Chinese stream. No infos on that. Um, when I asked them if they wanted an English stream, they said, uh, okay, you have to be in China for that, in a studio in Shanghai. And I said, well, are you paying that? And they said, nope. And I said, okay. We're out. Uh, we're trying to get a restream, a clean feed, uh, so we can rebroadcast that. But it's kind of hard to organize stuff because we have work to do, and uh, we have we haven't heard back from the WCA committee, which is normal because there was a national holiday week in China. So I expect news around the weekend, but yeah, not too convinced that this will happen. European Open Qualifiers, the sign-up starts next Thursday, October 15th at WCA-Europe.com. So make sure to get a slot because there's limited to 512 players. Apart from that, everything remains the same. If you need more information on that, go watch the Warcraft Observer number one. Weekly tournaments. This has been a great, great, great weekend for Warcraft enthusiasts all over the world. We start with Golden Cup number 7 and finally after 17 weeks of weekly tournaments we had an undead in the final. Chechi, his games against Hawk are just picture perfect undead versus human. Um, then he was able to beat Foggy but in the grand final there was Sonic and of course a few legs that uh, crushed his confidence I think. Uh, so Sonic beat him 3-0, pretty easy. He beat Orc Worker and Cooper before. So, 100 bucks to Sonic, the champion of Golden Cup uh, twice in a row. He beat Foggy last week. Then we had Ifen Cup. We rebroadcasted this on Wednesday, and it was Yumiko versus ZDR in the finals. The game for third was kind of noobish, but this final, man, absolutely insane and is so intense human versus orc uh, series with lots of tower rushes, great comebacks, great turnarounds, awesome micro fights. Um, it's up on our YouTube, so go check it out. Yumiko um, winning two iFang Cups back to back here in iFang 76. Then we had Jera Cup, the longest running cup in European Warcraft nowadays, and what a final it was. I announced it at Reddit at one of the craziest cup finals we had in years. It was Law Lyot here as Chonona um, versus Hawk and I want to say I, 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 I don't want to say too much but we had two wardens at level 10 three wardens with an ultimate and just crazy games everybody. Hawk tried his best um, to overcome the Warden, but in the end Lawlight was just too strong, taking three maps very, very convincingly. Uh, one wo Warden to rule them all was the motto of the Jera Cup, of course, the grand final up on our YouTube as well. 
upcoming cups and tournaments at Friday. Um, the Nice Game TV Cup will end round number one, um, starting 12 at 12 CEST, <coughs> so at noon. Saturday we have the Rust Brain Cup at uh, 13 CEST. Sunday, of course, Jera Cup, and Wednesday is the big start of the WCAC Pro Qualifier or the Korean Pro Qualifier. You can catch um, Nice Game TV at Twitch, twitch.tv slash Nice Game TV. Uh, Saturday and Sunday will be covered by Back to Warcraft, and Wednesday, I have no idea about streams, but I will keep you up to date at uh, War 3 Arena, YouTube, and of course our Facebook and Twitter. All the updates regarding tournaments and cups are at war3calendar.com. That's it for the Observer this week. Um, pretty cool games. Um, the news are not that great, but I hope I have better news for you in the future. This was the Observer number two. Thank you for tuning in once again. Thank you for your very constructive feedback last week. And uh, yeah, I hope this one was a little better. It was a little shorter. I hope it w felt uh, it didn't feel too rushed. Um, please keep your feedback coming. I'm trying to adapt as good as possible. Of course, uh, yeah, it's a lot of work, but I think it's definitely worth it. And 1,000 viewers for Warcraft Observer number one proof that. Thank you, everybody, and see ya on Saturday on the live stream for Ross Brain Cup number two.